Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I do want to start first by clearing the air with the chimes. And then I'm going to actually start with the number die because I forgot to roll the three yes or no questions. So I'll put a community post out that the three yes or no questions are at the beginning of the uplifting reading so everyone can come here and see it. All right, so answer number one is a six, which is a low end yes. You have 11, 10, four, and 12. So answer number one is a yes, unless you want to reverse the numbers. One through five is uh, no, six through 12 is yes. So roll number two, answer number two, yes or no, is a six. That is a yes. Oh, this is awesome. You have one, five, and 11. So you have ones all the way across the board. Total alignment. Answer number three, yes or no, is a two. That's a no answer. You have two and eight, which is a 10. You have four and seven. Then you have 10 and 12. So you've got all these things going on. All right, so that was your three yes or no uh, answers. The Page of Swords. Ooh, you're about to hear some information here. So that was, in, that, that was part of the uh, number die there. All right, so you're about to receive some sort of information. Let's go ahead and do your uplifting reading all about you, and we will see who we are focused on today. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Of course, every day isn't a bowl of cherries. Some days you get, get this, which is rain, okay? It's been storming here for days. So, since I have the ability to uh, put the camera like that, I'm going to do so. That way you can look out at my freshly cut lawn. Okay, I finally got that taken care of this morning. That's why I'm doing the reading so late in the day. What time is it? 4.12. Normally by 4.12 I'm completely done with all of my work, answered all my emails, responded to all the um, comments, done all six, eight readings, whatever I do a day, I don't even know, and answered all personal messages done those readings and i've only got your short form and your long form for the day <laughs> so we're going to do this message and keep going from here okay and my lighting is absolutely horrible i do have two ring lights which are putting a, a good bit of light out here but with a storm um and it is storming out there i have this little lamp here too i don't know i, I can't show it to you it's just not working very well. Anyways, I appreciate y'all being patient with me, you know, not complaining about the lighting or anything else. You guys are awesome. I love you to pieces, everybody. I love you all to pieces. All right, let's see who we're focusing on and what is truly magical about you. The King of Wands. You are a go-getter. You're a leader. You're a boss. Oh, man, you take charge of any situation that needs strong guidance, leadership. Yeah, I'm definitely getting rescue style energy here. Military, uh, SWAT, EMT, but even more so than regular EMT where you just go in and help the people. And don't take that the wrong way. That's massive. I'm thinking more like the police that may respond to um, go after somebody who may have committed a crime or something like that. In, in, I mean, immediate leadership skills put into effect. And yes, EMTs absolutely do that too, okay? I guess what I'm hearing from Spirit, why Spirit's differentiating, is that these people... This is the people who are in immediate danger or have to put themselves in immediate danger to deal with a situation, okay? you Even as an EMT, yes, you're still in that uh, danger zone, but your focus is on helping those people. The, the ones we're focusing on here, are their focus is on getting the, the bad person, solving whatever, okay? Like if there was a horrible car accident, 
you're helping medically and they are helping to keep traffic flowing or keep people safe, you know, things like that. So this is huge. I mean, I see a lot of very um, difficult situations being dealt with. You're very um, precise. You've got great communication skills. You've had a lot of experience out in the field, but I think you had a lot of life challenges before you ever took on this role that you're in. Um, yeah, I'm seeing major catastrophes happening here like 40 car pileups, um, tsunami. I mean, I'm seeing it all, <gasps> volcanoes. And you just go in and you start, you know, directing people to um, move that there, get them fed, get these people to the hospital, do this, do that. I'm, it, it, this is like command central. You are command central. And if you're not in any of those um, roles in particular, okay, this is how you are internally. You're always um, figuring out the best place to be. What's the next best step, okay? You've got a lot of experience and you use that to your advantage. All right, what have you accomplished that you should be proud of? The Page of Wands. You are a focused, driven person, okay? You have a passion and a desire to see something through, to help, to, oh, oh my goodness, to solve, to fix, but you're focused. You're strong, you're courageous, you're brave with all this orange energy here. Very, very good. I'm hearing, because this is Page of Wands, that you may have started off with a lot of challenges um, and found very early on in life. Again, that's coming through. And this may have directed you, guided you towards this type of work that you're currently in because of the challenges that you had. And you found that if you just focused on what needed to be done, People listened to you. People paid attention. They did what you asked them to do. So you were good at being this leader. Okay, so you developed more and more leadership skills. I am hearing some of you went to Toastmasters so that you could communicate well in large groups. You could talk in front of people. Um, there was something else that you did along those lines. Leadership um classes, courses, anything that would build your confidence about being in front of other people and taking that role so that you did not suffer. That's what you what you accomplished here. Every one of us that has any type of role uh, role in front of people, we get this imposter syndrome thing. And you built up all your skills. You made sure that you knew what you were talking about. Okay, so that's what you did. You did not want, you may have felt that imposter syndrome early on and you overcame it by getting the skills, the knowledge. Um, you had the bravery all along. That's just like intrinsic within you. But you, your accomplishment, your major accomplishment is in the fact that you overcame that imposter syndrome by Getting the knowledge, getting the experience, and trusting your intuition, too, I just heard. You can't be in a horrible, ter terrifying situation with chaos all around you and not trust your intuition. You have to be tapped into the collective consciousness to be able to gain instant access to the information that you're requiring to make these decisions. No matter how much experience and uh, knowledge you've given yourself, okay, you have to have that intuition. You have to have that connection. Oh my gosh. You have to have that faith that you personally are going to be safe so that you can direct everybody. Love this. Oh man, chills again. I love this reading for you guys. All right, so what kind of impact do you have on the people around you? The two of swords. You take the blinders off for them. You, you, <laughs> you absolutely are like, do this, go here. Make sure they have this, okay? Um, yeah, decisive. There's no blinders here on your part, and you help people to see clearly 
what they need to do. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right. I am hearing something about trusting um, spirit again to help guide to... Okay, the impact that you have on the people around you is that you have you command instant. Oh, what do they call it? Okay, nobody hesitates to follow your directions. If you say, go do this, then somebody's going to get it done. Okay, if you're directing a particular person, they're going to go do it. There is no hesitation. It's implicit. And it's understood that what you are saying needs to be done immediately. Nobody stands back and argues with you. Okay. All right. What's another skill that you have that uh, we should recognize? The Ten of Wands. You've got a lot of life experience. Absolutely. And you've learned the lessons the hard way in some instances. You do carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, okay? Not in a negative way, but you have you bear a lot of responsibility for yourself, for the actions you take and the people around you, the safety, the well-being of all of those under your um yeah, guidance, I guess. Under your direction, okay? Whether they know that they need to listen to you or not, they do. Okay, that, that's beautiful. And you do not feel burdened by this. In fact, you enjoy this. This is what makes you happy because you know you're helping people. And I, I have to say, some of you feel absolutely connected to the divine in these moments. When this is happening... You are at your peak performance. You are so in alignment with yourself, your higher power, the universe, and you are tuned in and tapped into the core. I mean, you are just resonating confidence, courage, divinity. I mean, it just comes out as this light, this energy, guiding force. This is the first time I've ever seen this particular card in this deck. That's funny. This is what you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing. And it's the Eight of Wands. And you are taking action. You are communicating clearly. You're stable. You, you help things expand. You help to show what direction to go in. You lead the way. Absolutely incredible energy here. And you're never going to stop this. Nope. You are never going to take stop taking the lead, leading the charge, taking action. I mean, this is, you are in your element here. You're lighting the way for people. You're guiding them. You're showing them. You're, you're a very clear communicator, too. Again, very clear. No ifs, ands, or buts. Your tone of voice is just right. It's modulated so that it doesn't offend and it doesn't make people think that you don't know what you're talking about. Very good communication skills here. But this is really about you taking action, moving forward to help protect people, to light the way. All right. And you now have the Nine of Wands. You are battle worn. You have been through it, but you never give up. You never, ever give up. Because you know you can succeed in any, any situation. As long as divine and the universe has your back, you have your confidence. You know you can survive whatever. You have been. You have overcome and lived through some very difficult lessons. Absolutely. Love this message. Totally different than anything we've had in the past. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you will tickle tap or boop that like button. B-O-O-P spells like. Um, consider dropping a comment claiming this if this is you. What do you do if it's something you can talk about? Okay, tell us what you do because this is impressive. This is a life, I mean, oh my gosh, beautiful here. Saving lives in many, 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 many different ways. Also, um, 
if you're interested in getting more information, I do readings like this too, okay? I can give you more information about yourself in a personal reading. I can um, give you answers as to what to do with your life. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, just email me. Check out the description box or the about page. Email me at the email address you see below, and I will send you all the information, okay? If you have not yet subscribed to this awesome community, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you join us. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you know when all three messages come out every single day. All right. And I feel like there was something else, but I'm going to go on from there. I do, I do want to take a moment to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you for all of the support that you have shown me on this channel. And for all of you awesome people who have gone over to Elemental Tarot, this is my second channel, okay? So I have this one. I've had this almost a year. I'm almost at my anniversary here. Um a year, but actually I didn't start uploading videos until like, I guess it was July. Yes, okay, so July. I started the channel in December, but didn't start uploading until July. Anyways, almost a year. Anyways, you guys, we are already over 550 mem uh, subscribers over there on that channel. We're getting those watch hours. I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing this channel with everybody. If you're new here, this is my All Signs channel, okay? So I do weekly readings for every sign. So I hope you'll take a, a minute and go over to Elemental Tarot, show a little love and support there. Either way, I do want to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you for everything you do, everything you do. Encouraging people to check out my work, liking, subscribing, booping, tickle, tapping that like button. Whatever it is, you guys are amazing, and I love you to pieces. I hope you know how sincere that really is coming from my heart. Let's ring the chimes. Did I do this yet? They don't ring the same over there. All right, your blessing, boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall is coming your way. That's pretty cool. We are going to get you a spirit animal. The original spirit animal that I used to use all the time for this particular reading. Got to change things up every now and then. Our, <laughs> Card number three, armadillo spirit, a need to set healthy boundaries. If you do this type of job, yeah, you definitely have to have healthy boundaries. You've got to protect yourself, especially if you are tuned in spiritually the way that you are. All right, seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Something is coming your way here. And you know what I'm hearing? This is funny because this doesn't really have to do with this. It's about you. What I'm hearing is about this blessing coming your way. Make sure you have an attorney. If you do not have an attorney yet, be prepared to hire an attorney. Also, understand what you're going to do if you come into some sort of windfall. How do you plan to handle that money? I will tell you the first thing you do, be quiet. You don't tell anyone that you've come across this money. Do not tell anybody, nobody. I don't care how much you trust that person. Money changes people. Do not tell anyone, okay? All right, watch and wait. Um, I will get you more information here, but this is card 53, so you already have double threes here, okay? And we know that's about you tapping into your higher spirit, your spirituality, but it also talks about potential and abundance. This is huge. This is really, really huge. All right, let's see what else is going on here. What more spirit wants to tell you using the spirit animal oracle messages here? Sixty-seven. You have wolf spirit. Turn your knowledge into wisdom. You absolutely do turn your knowledge into wisdom. Instant, instantly accessed wisdom. 
in 62. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you're not the type of person to go rushing into these scenes. You rush in, but you know exactly what you do. You're not panicking. You are not racing to solve things. You're, you're racing to save lives. Coordination. Oh my gosh. I'm also hearing again, this is about your money. Some of you are coming into some money. I, I'm getting very unexpectedly. It could be an inheritance, okay? But I'm having a, the sense that it is going to be more money than you thought. Um, you could win. You could win some money at bingo, I'm hearing. You could win some money through uh, a, a lottery. But I'm not hearing the big mega millions. I'm not hearing that. But a, a good sum of money, you know, five hundred to 5000 to $500,000 is possible. Um, but I'm also hearing with this windfall, it's unexpected. All of this money is pretty much like it was unexpected or it will be unexpected. And you need to be aware that there's, it's more than you were counting on or could even imagine. So you need to be prepared. Okay. The slow and steady is don't put your money in, um, Overnight schemes, invested in long-term things or short-term CDs, long-term CDs, whatever has the highest interest yield right now. Something that is not high risk is what I'm hearing, okay? So you know this. Spirit's just reminding you. And you have 62 and 67. And you notice Spirit had me put this card down here knowing that there was going to be a number lower than it above it. So you have 8 there and you have 13 here which is four here okay so that's half of that i'm hearing some of you may have to split this winnings just this winnings no nope. the inheritance you you may have to split it with one other person or it may be split up four ways do you want to point out you have eight and eight here okay three and four here. All right. So Spirit's saying to give you some uh, message out of the watch and wait. There's some important thing for you to hear. Card 53. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Spirit's saying, are you holding on to a judgment? Positive that your perspective is the only right way to look at something? There are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea. And when seahorse spirit appears, you are being reminded to detach from the experience. Detach from the experience so you can have a, a view and view it from more than one angle. So seeing all the different aspects of receiving this money, what it's going to do, how it can affect your life, how it can affect the people around you once they find out about it. Definitely keep this to yourself is what I'm hearing. All right. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they may affect the way that you think, feel, and act. Don't be foolish like I was when I came into a large sum of money and thought, oh, Oh, yeah, just go ahead and do that generous thing. It did not pay off. Okay? So you've got to make sure that you're you're thinking right. All right. Perhaps uh, whatever the action of others, your challenge is to be non-reactive and not take their words or behaviors personally. Okay? This is not about them. This is about you. Their turbulence has little to do with you. Okay, it has everything to do with your money if they find out about it. So just remain neutral until you understand more about how to handle your money or what you're going to do. Do not just jump in and give money away. You won't have any. Your perspective may be quite different in time. Okay, and I'm noticing color combinations here too. I mean, there is a sense of balance, abundance, happiness, um, Stability is coming through. All right. Let's see what else we've got for you today. I think that's it. So we're going to let you go, okay? 
I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. And until our energies cross again, I hope you guys have one of the most awesome days that you possibly can. Take care.